میری بی اصلا تا پیلا رو بروشن ریکویست دی سینئر مست دی سایفل آف سوانی جی سیوشی شام رانی شام جدو رانی آر شام رانی In fact, not more than 15. First, I offer my unlimited obeisances and to exalt the lotus feet of my Pada Maharaji to my Guru Pada Pramod. Nishalila Pradishta Om Vishnu Paramah. I saw to the Sutta Sri Srimad to the Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. And the same unlimited obeisances and the dust of the lotus feet of my Pada Maharaji to my Guru Pada Padma. Om Vishnu Pad, Ashotara Sutta Sri Srimad Shiva Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Gosang Maharaj, to all of our Guru Varga and all the assembled devotees. When I first met Srila Gurudev in 1992, he gave me quite a surprise in explaining what is the essence of our Srila Prabhupada's teachings. And I even challenged him and asked, where does it say that? That our Srila Prabhupada came for the same mission as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which was also a surprise to me when I met Srila Gurudev in 1992. I said, where does it say that? Immediately he said, it comes from the Chaitanya Charitamrita, Adi Lila chapter one and chapter four. Anarpita chiring charat kurunayavatir nam kalo samar paritam unat odvalara sang so bhakti sriyam hari purata sundaram viti kadamba sandhi pitaha sada hridaya khandare puritava satchinandanaha. That is, our Srila Prabhupada being uh, the embodiment of Gaudavani Pracharane, that is, he came to give the teachings of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And what are the teachings of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? There are certain verses which are the essential verses which describe his entire mission and whole books are based on that particular slok. For example, the Mangalacharanam slok, main Mangalacharanam slok of Chaitanya Charitamrita which all the rest of the 17 volumes explain is this verse, Anarpita Chirin Charat. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give what no other incarnation or uh, acharya ever gave before in this day of Brahma. In the previous day of Brahma, this teaching was given by the same Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And our Srila Prabhupada is Gauravani Pracharane. Srila Gurudev gave two lectures in his last tour in Holland and Alachua. What is the meaning of Gauravani Pracharane? So one verse that ex explains this is this verse in Arpita Chirin Charat. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give what no other incarnation or acharya ever gave before, except the previous day of Brahma when Mahaprabhu himself gave it, and that is Unat Ojvalarasam Sobhakti Priyam, Sobhakti Sriyam. That is, he came to give, um, as Gurudev said this morning, the service of Srimati Radharani in Parati above, in Unat Ojvalaras. There are two kinds of Unat Ojvalaras. One is, and they're both Parati Aras. One is the direct relationship with Krishna, and that is called um, Kamatmika Kamanuga 
uh, Sambo Bhatmika Bhakti. And that is the service of Srimati Radhika, Lalita, Vishaka, and so on. Then that Onat Ojwalata song, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did not come to give. He did not come to give the service that Srimati Radharani herself gives, but he came to give a great treasure. Srila Prabhupada translates the word Sriyam as treasure, but a treasure chest is usually known to be locked. So Srila Prabhupada's books are also locked up, and one requires the pure devotee, another pure devotee, who has the key to unlock that treasure chest. I once came for a Manushiksha class in Mathura that Srila Gurudev was giving in English in 1994. That day, I didn't know it, but the um, class was called off and Gurudev was just speaking to some uh, Indian, speak Hindi speaking devotees. So I came, I spent an hour traveling to get there. So he felt he had to say something to me to make that trip worthwhile since I wasn't going to get a class. So one sentence he said was like a million classes. He said, so now I've given you the shovel to dig deeply into Srila Prabhupada's books. So this word Sriyam, which Prabhupada puts as his word for word synonyms, treasure, when you unlock that treasure chest, you find by Srila Gurudev's mercy that Sriyam means sobam or beauty. The beauty of the creeper which winds around the tree is its leaves and fruits and flowers. The creeper is Srimati Radhika and the tree is Krishna. And the service to Srimati Radhika doesn't have the beauty without its beauty. And what is the beauty? The beauty is the leaves, fruits, and flowers, which are Srimati Radhika's assistance in her service in Parati above to Sri Krishna, and that is her sati and her mandaris, or maidservants. Srila Gurudev gives the example of a bee. The bee uh, goes on to the flower to relish the honey in the flower. And the bee will not sit on the um, stamen or the manjari of the flower because it's always moving. So uh, Krishna sits or he enjoys amorous affairs with Srimati Radhika and that is one kind of unat ujvalada. But the other kind, tat tat bhava ichitatnika, is the kind that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give the fortunate jivas. And that is that stamen or manjari on top of the flower, which has no interest. It's always going back and forth, saying no, no. No interest in a personal relationship with Krishna, but only desiring to assist Srimati Radhika and getting their full pleasure in the meeting of Srimati Radhika. When there's distress of Srimati Radhika in her separation for Krishna, then they're also feeling distressed. And when Srimati Radhika is in a superior position or when they're meeting or when she's defeated Krishna, then they also feel uh, successful in their life. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give this. Another essential verse of Gauravani, which our Srila Prabhupada embodies, Gauravani Pacharane, is Aradyo Bhagavan Prajay Shatanayas Tadhama Brindavanam. That is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is teaching that our Aradhyadev is Bhagavan Sri Krishna for Jay Shatanaya. It's not Dwarkadish, it's not Mataresh, it's not Lord Narayan, but it's for Jay Shatanaya, the son of Nanda Baba, the son of Nanda Maharaj and Jashomati Nandan. And for Jay Shatanaya Tadama Brindavanam. And his abode is equally worshipable. Then, um, Arajo Bhagavan Brajeshatanayas Tadama Brindavanam. Ramya Karchid Upasanam. The Upasanam or the worship of the uh, Braja Ramanis or the young gopis is the highest um, means of worship of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Our Prabhupada, in fact, used the word 
uh, Pothika manufactured. They manufactured something, but because they are the supreme knowers of Krishna being the highest bhaktas, and as Krishna told Arjuna in the Bhagavad Gita, I am only known by unalloyed bhakti. As I am standing before you, I can only be understood by unalloyed bhakti. The bhakti of the gopis and particularly Srimati Radhika is the highest and therefore their so-called manufacturing is absolute reality because they know best Krishna, his mood, better even than he knows himself and they know how to worship him. Where is the evidence for this? The evidence is in Srimad Bhagavatam. Ramya Karchirupasanam Vrajabhadu Bardena Jarkalpita Srimad Bhagavatam Puranam Amalam. And the best evidence for this is Srimad Bhagavatam, where Krishna himself tells the gopis that I have no capacity to repay you. Your activities themselves will have to be its own payment. Krishna says in the Gita that as they surrender to me, I reward them accordingly. But Krishna told the gopis, I have no capacity to reward you accordingly. I'll always remain indebted to you. Even if I try for a day of Brahma, I won't be able to repay my debt to you. So the evidence is Srimad Bhagavatam. Then, whose opinion is this? Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Matamidam. This is his idea, his opinion. Tatradaro Naparam. And Srila Viswanath Chakrabari Thakur is saying, I have no other uh, interest and no interest in anyone else's opinion than the opinion of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. His other essential teaching is taught to us by Srila uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur in his Das Mula Shiksha. That is, this is the teaching that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave to the jivas, that Sri Krishna is the absolute truth, He's the embodiment of all shaktis, all powers, and the reservoirs of all rasas. There's two kinds of living entities, those who are conditioned and those who are liberated. The conditioned souls turning away from him and the liberated souls turning towards him. This material world is, and the jiva is simultaneously one with and different from the Lord. The means to reach the ultimate goal of life is sadhan bhakti, and the goal of life is prema bhakti. These are the essential teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to the fortunate jivas. So our Srila Prabhupada being Gaurdavani Pracharane, this is what he came to give us, the same thing that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give us, because our Srila Prabhupada's heart is one with the heart of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is Krishna, who came as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to become one with the heart of Srimati Radhika, and that is our Srila Prabhupada. Lord Srimana. Can you tell who made these two slokes about Swamiji? You disciples of Swamiji, can you tell who made this originally? Can you? <laughs> who did? You are all senior devotees of Swamiji. Huh? Himself. <laughs> Himself, really. All requested him that we want to uh, pranam mantra like Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, Namang Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Prishthaya Bhuta. And they requesting and requesting. At least he has to make it. Anyone, disciples are not so much qualified to do this. So, mercifully he did. Mercifully he did. He was very great learned scholar. And like knowing all Siddhant. So I know that he has and really. You heard the his object Gaurubani. What is Gaurubani? Hmm? Oh, 
they explained it that I saw in LA or anywhere, I don't remember. So, Gaurvani, Aradhu Bhagavan Vajeshatam, this is Gaurvani. And also another is carrying here. And one shlok Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur has done. Amnaya praha tattam marini haparamam sarva shakti nirshanti. This is Gaurvani. Govinda Prabhupada can you explain and glorify how your Gurudev very quickly in couple of years he preached for entire world very quickly and what is the essence of his teaching very quickly He was so many years serving his Gurudev and his senior, so I told him. Like Narada, when Narada left his home, his mother had passed away, he went to, he was anxious, he had had good Sangha, and so he was in that Sangha, he was inspired. So he went and he finally came to meditate. And because of his inspiration and the Sadhu Sangha he had had, immediately he had the vision of God. And, but something strange happened. That vision disappeared immediately. So he wanted to refocus and have more of that same thing. He was, his heart was becoming anxious. And then uh, he said to him, the Lord said, there's a reason that I'm doing this, like playing cat and mouse. Etat uh, kamayate. It means I'm doing this just to increase your hankering. So, and in the same way, that mood of hankering, beginning there in the first canto of Srimad Bhagavatam and extending all the way up to the things that Shamarani Didi just mentioned in the 10th canto, Ras Panchadhyaya, Srimad Bhagavatam. This, the entire purpose is to increase the hankering for Krishna Rati Bhav Prem. Uh, like Mahaprabhu said, Nayanam Galadashudaraya Gajgada Rudhaya Gira. Gira. Uh, Badanam Gajgada Rudhaya Gira. Uh, Nichitam Bapukada. Always Mahaprabhu was wondering when will tears flood my face when I chant Harinam and when will my voice get choked and I can't even speak anymore when trying to chant when will the hairs stand on my body so in this way it's like the benchmark that all our acharyas have given to measure Krishna consciousness. Uh, like Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur said, Punibolu Tibo Harinam Arasa Namarase Mati Hoivo Vishbas. It's the same thing. When will I have this deep taste for the nectar of the holy name of Krishna? But he also, in the same verse, gave the secret how to have it. Rasarara uh, Sika Charana Parash by touching the feet of those who are rasara rasika, who can taste, who know, who are expert in tasting the transcendental mellows themselves. By touching their feet, I will know how to hanker for the same thing. So, 
by injecting this mood in the hearts of so many of us, our Srila Prabhupada, like, like, a, like a dispensary, gave out so many packets of medicine and packets of sweets. Like maybe after uh, the Prabhachan tonight, Maharaj will give out some sweets. In the same way, Srila Prabhupada Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj gave out sweets everywhere. And some had some sukriti, or maybe no sukriti, but somehow or other they were able to taste through no qualification. So like that, he came and picked up so many of us. And also I wanted to say that he 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 gave the secret, like Bhaktivinoda Thakur in that verse, Srila Prabhupada gave the same secret. Um, Krishna Bhakti, Krishna Bhakti Janma Mulohoi Sadhu Sangha, Krishna Prem Janme uh, Teno Punak Mukya Anga. He said that the association with sadhus is like an electrical current. Srila Prabhupada always gave this example of a powerhouse and a plug. The powerhouse is Krishna and Parikar. But the plug is the pure devotee who preaches Krishna Bhakti everywhere. So you can plug anywhere into that. Here in this room we can plug in and get the same power as the powerhouse. Here in this room we can plug in and get the same power as the powerhouse. So Srila Prabhupada also gave the principle of Tad Anuragi Jananugami, that by the association of those who have, who are Rasarasika, who can actually taste the sublime mellows of Krishna Bhakti in the mood of, uh, in the mood of Braj, then those pure devotees are like the plugs where we can tap into the power source and get that pure Krishna Bhakti ourselves. Thank you. I bow to object and mission preached by Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj. He has not told anything new, <coughs> only English word new. But it is a translate. <coughs> translation of the word. 
Tol baixelor o pustani, răunat dar pustani, că sunt aștă viraj gusai, indilai, dar o tam tacu, iar în nad dar să o vadna, și la bhakti nu o tacu, în și la prăupat bhakti se dan să o sătii de vadna. You have never established anything new. You know that. Krishna consciousness is first. What are you? Are you what he has named his mission. <laughs> this is not new thing. <coughs> this thing. Or something. Same wine in. New water. The spirit, the mission, the object is same. But he has told in me, in me, English. <coughs> I told you so many times that Brahma, Narad, Daya Sukadeva Goswami, or they are original members of his school. Any member of his own cannot deviate or cannot fall down. Never, never. Hmm? Who is really Krishna consciousness? Hmm? It will do. Uh, more it may be. So, these are the members, very members of ESCO. Can any member of ESCO can fall down or deviate? They can never. Narad, Vyas, Sukadeva Goswami, Abdul Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhan Sarsi. Your Gurudev, my Siksha Guru, He is gone, he cannot fall down. So any member falling down or deviating, they were never member of his school. Never and never. And they will be you. Hmm? They are Niksha Siddha. Hmm? But anyone can try to be member by practice and following them. So he heard the mission of Srila Swamiji was same as the Rupa Goswami and our disciple life. <coughs> the essence of all that, Jivera Swarupa hai Nitya Krishna Das. Whether we know or not know, where, whether we accept or not, But Sarupete Sakaler Hai Goloke Stiti. Whether anyone accept or not, but in real, the constitutional position of all the Jeeves, they are servant of, not the servant of Krishna. Unfortunate, <coughs> unfortunately, by any special reason, we, some of them, have de deviated by that. We are deviated. Not from Golo Vindavan, but really from borderline. That is tatastha, tatastha position, not from Golo. Anyone going to Golo, how they can return back to this world? They cannot. 
जगदत्वा न निवर्तन्ते तद्धाम परमा मामा एंड दैट इज़ वाइज इट इज़ परम धाम वाइज और देवी धाम स्वर्ग तपोलो आफ्टर दैट ब्रह्मलो परम देवी धाम मोहिनी लो Oh, anyone can return back. But in in that dham, who is param dham, param, who is param, supreme, like Krishna, no difference between his dham and him. So param dham. So anyone cannot deviate from that land. So. But anyhow, we have from marginal lines, we have forgotten. So, to remind you, Krishna himself comes. Essence is rep- representative. Sometimes he comes in Ram form, Nishinga form, and other form. So remind us. That you must hmm, back to God and back to Him, back to God Him and back home, back to God Him. Ah, uh, your home is there. So, how to do? How to go there? That uh, that was the mission or object. So we have to try to follow him. So in the in the conclusion, we know that in our constitutional form position, we are all nitya servant, eternal servant of Krishna. We cannot be happy in this world, this relative world. You cannot by any position, by money, by position, for anything you cannot. So we know that we should practice bhakti yoga. Without practicing bhakti yoga, you cannot attain your that original constitution position. Never and never. So, <coughs> Matipuli Krishna has manifested Sri Madhu Bhagavatam. That is authority book more than Vedas and Upanishads and Puran. So, all the Goswami books have come from or oh, that very Sri Madhu Bhagavatam. In each and every line of Sri Madhu Bhagavatam. All these transcendental siddhant has been given. Sabai punsang paro dharmo jato bhakti adokkaje ahek tukya apriyata ya bhakti purushottame bhakti. But what is that bhakti? We should know. It is not any speculation of mine. Uh, speculation of mine. Nothing. In Simad Bhagavatam, and especially Rup Goswami has told, by the inspiration of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Really, this is slok of bhakti is from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He inspired him in uh, prayer, and after that he inspired in Jagannath Puri, and he requested his all associates. To be merciful, to sprinkle mercy on Rupa Goswami, so that he can know my heart and he can give to this world. So, Chait Rupa Goswami has written, "Anya bhila sita sunya, gyan karmat dhyana pratam, anukulena Krishna anusilanam bhakti rutama." Oh, what is the meaning?
Ana. I want that all should know this is slow. If you can remember, but the essence of this slope should be remembered always. And try to follow this is slow. Then bhakti will come. As Srila Gurudev has mentioned, there are various verses and descriptions which are describing the glories of bhakti. Srila Gurudev has mentioned the verse, Sabaipur Sapuro Dhamma. More louder. Yato bhakti is what today. <coughs> that the supreme occupation of all activities, of all persons, is to render devotional service to the Lord. And such devotional service should be a hoitati and a patiyata. It should be causeless, without motivation, and it should be uninterrupted. So, though this verse, this is describing very clearly what is Uttama Bhakti? But still, Srila Rupa Goswami, he has described one verse, which is in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, which is said to be the emperor verse describing what is Uttama Bhakti. Anyabhilasa tasunyam, jnana karma anabhitam, anukuryena krishna nushtunam bhakti uttama. That the cultivation of all activities of the body, mind, words, but most importantly of the mood, which are directed toward the pleasure of the Supreme Lord, which are not covered by exclusive activities, means that we have to perform activities. We have to perform karma. But these activities should not um, in any way um, be a hindrance to our performance of bhakti. That it should not be covered by jnana, knowledge, means that it should not be covered by any type of impersonal knowledge. And in the higher sense, for those who have achieved the higher realms of bhakti, then aishvarya jnana, knowledge of the um, opulences and supremacy of the Lord, should not cover one's mood in Madhurya Gyan or Shuddha Bhakti. And also the mystic uh, desire for mystic perform, um, attainment, um, mystic city, that these should not cover one's bhakti. That the bhakti should be flowing like a stream of honey unbroken. And in all circumstances, it should be favorably disposed for the pleasure of Krishna. So when such bhakti is continuous, unbroken, and without any hindrance, then it is said to be Uttama Bhakti. Thank you. So clear more. Stand up and clear more in your words. I uh, ask anyone whether <laughs> lady devotees or male <laughs> devotees. All should be prepared to explain. All top to bottom. I may or tell anyone last point. Yes. You should come. Don't fear. <laughs> I want to uh, see good drama play. And so many drama players are here. So you should make a daily or Next day, like this. Harrison, tomorrow you should make a drama play. Very attractive and with a good teaching. Go. On. Everything is an emanation of Krishna simultaneously. The same as Krishna, yet the same. Not, not working? Not to work. 
So these, in order to fulfill Krishna's desire, these two wrestlers went out to try to kill Krishna and try to kill Balaram. Seemingly, this was pleasurable to Krishna. But Srila Rupa Goswami was pointing out that because these two wrestlers desired to kill Krishna, this actually was not pleasurable for Krishna. It was not, it was not favorable for, Krishna, for their Krishna consciousness. <laughs> Most importantly, I think that this, the reason was this is not favorable for our Krishna consciousness. Because if Krishna were to, then how would he fulfill the rest of his pastimes? So, Srimati Yasoda, for example, Srimati Yasoda scolded Krishna. She bound Krishna to a mortar and makes Krishna cry and calls Krishna names. And it seemingly is, this ple is not pleasurable for Krishna. Krishna's upset. But in actuality, she is increasing Krishna's love. Her relationship with Sri Krishna is born of intimacy. And in that, she pulls Krishna closer and increases Krishna's happiness. So, Silarup Goswami has explained what is Uttama Bhakti. From this word, Uttama Bhakti, as Rup Goswami has told him, this is true. Then that should be Madhava Bhakti, Kanishta Bhakti. Hmm? It may be. Like the mixture of Bhakti, of Gyan, Gyan Karma, Yog, Tapasya. Hmm? And so it has been told, Uttama Bhakti means pure Bhakti or Shuddha Bhakti. So Bhakti Vinod Thakur has told in his Tattva Vivek that there are some things resembling to Bhakti but not real Bhakti. <laughs> We do some, so many things in the name of bhakti. Bhagavat kahe taha paripurna chale dharma prudhyat kaito atta parmo nirmatsara nam sata. In this word, related word, there are so many things in the name of dharma which are not really dharma. They are what? Cheating dharma. Not pure dharma. They are cheating. So something we do in the name of bhakti, really not bhakti. Hmm? Anyone can follow Suddha Bhakti in the stage of Madhyam Uttam or Uttam stage, Uttam Bhagavat stage. Not really in Kanishta and those I know that so many are that even no con uh, Kanishta. No Kanishta. They can ha they have no conceptions of conception of or real bhakti, uttama bhakti. But we do. Why do? Hmm? Oh, not good association. Guru Dev gave mantra. And he was trying to develop us our heart. But at that time, we could not fall. So sometimes, Rup Goswami has collectively divided of thousands and thousands kinds of bhakti, of tamasic bhakti, rajasic bhakti, sattvic bhakti, nirgun bhakti, Karma Mishra Bhakti, Gyan Mishra Bhakti, Yoga Mishra Bhakti. So many. These are not pure Bhakti, Uttama Bhakti. Uttama Bhakti, like Mother Yasoda, even chastising Krishna, Krishna weeping, but it is more than Uttama Bhakti. You know that to defeat anyone is not good for that defeated person. He will be. But Krishna was defeated by his friend and he was Very smiling <laughs> and telling what? I have defeated you. You have not defeated. My nose is up. 
ಅನುಕೂಲ್ಯನ ಅನುಕೂಲ್ಯನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಫೇಬ್ರೇಬಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ ಫೇಬ್ರೇಬಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಚಾರುಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫೇಬ್ರೇಬಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಎನಿ ಹೌ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಾಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಬೈ ರಶ್ಮಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮದರ್ ಜೋಶೋದ ಟ್ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಾಸ್ ವೀಪಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಉತ್ತಮ ಮೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಉತ್ತಮ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಫೇಬ್ರೇಬಲ್ ಅನ್ಫೇಬ್ರೇಬಲ್ ಬಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಿಮ್ಟಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಹೋಲ್ ಸಿಮ್ಟಮ್ ಬಟ್ ಅನುಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅನುಶೀಲನ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ any flower any tree at the time of krishna they cannot serve krishna krishna can come on.